Hello again, everybody. Um, Greg here. No Evo this time. Uh, this is just a uh, announcement video, really, and hopefully uh, the start of something bigger on the channel, at least, is a uh, video about Dota. This is also going to be a uh, kind of an announcement video to let everyone know that, yes, we do have our Twitch channel, and uh, I'll be probably mainly streaming this over at twitch.com slash hobbyfist, and probably putting a few videos up here as well. For those who don't know what Dota is, uh, it's a free online rage simulator. Uh, five people fight against five other people on a map to yell at each other for anywhere between... You could go as quick as 15 minutes to... I've had like 90, almost two-hour games all the time just being angry at each other. But for some reason, uh, when the game's over and you've won such a long game... It, the victory just totally erases all of the anger, frustration, and time wasted uh, in the game to be like, hey, this is great, and you just go right back and play some more. Um, now, I could uh, actually make some more videos talking about a lot of the terms and uh, strategies in the game in the future if people want me to, but just to start off with, I picked a shorter game that I played earlier in uh, May, it's about a 30 minute game. So if I use, when I start talking about, you know, melee support or melee carry, what I did with the bat in this game, I'm just going to explain it there. You're going to stop, probably see like, wait, what the hell is that thing on the screen? Uh, I could sit there and explain literally everything that happens in the game, but I would be pausing it and uh, the game would, this video would go like three hours. So what I'm just going to do is focus on what I did, um, how I played the game, and if people are interested in how I do this, then yeah, I can make more videos talking about different things, like different aspects, concepts in the game, because as I said before, this is a uh, strange, strange game. I have no idea why I keep playing this. I have over 2,000 hours in the game, and honestly, that isn't that much compared to a lot of people. This game has been around for a very long time, and if you're curious at all about it, it is free. Now, there's already a bunch of way smarter people than myself who've made way better guides you can always look up Purge Gamers. He put a really good, well-thought guide for anybody who wants to play the game called, you know, well to, Welcome to Dota, You Suck. And, you know, it's worth looking into. This is definitely a very masochistic game. You're going to be frustrated at yourself, but it's somehow perplexingly fun. So, this has been a long enough preamble. I'm going to talk about the uh, character I played today, which was Abaddon. And I played today, this game, um, it just ended up being that I played Abaddon as a melee carry, which meant that I, you know, had to farm. And farming was, you know, I had to kill a lot of creeps. And the creeps are the things that happen to go within the lanes. And, and the lanes are, you see how this just snowballs out of control if I try to explain everything all at once. But all you need to understand in this game is I'm going to one of the lanes. I'm fighting little guys on the screen to get money so I can buy things to make myself stronger and then be able to beat up on the other team. This is basically their idea too. And there's, you know, different uh, positions you could play. I'm playing him as a carry in this game. So I had someone in my lane who could actually support me and support is kind of like someone there to make sure that I can get the farm I need so we can actually win later in the game. Hopefully that didn't confuse you too much. Now I'm going to talk into abilities. And normally, uh, heroes in the game have um, four. They got five, sometimes six. Could even be more, seven. It really depends on who the hero is. There really are a million different like uh, play styles in the game. You've got like a way you like to play a game. They probably created a hero for you to play. And in this case, um, the main idea with this guy was um, you're kind of like a frontline dick. I'll go through like uh, all of his abilities because what they just don't mishmash a bunch of abilities together. You know, every now and then they might have a hero that's just like one spell that's all they're really good for, and that's really it. The guy who designed the game liked to, you know, make everything kind of synergize together. And his thing is um, just getting in the face of everybody. Like, uh, this is like one of his bigger spells. It's called a Photic Shield. Looking at all this can be super confusing like spell effects there's a spell does it pierce this does it do this all you need to know is you get a bubble around yourself you absorb a certain amount of damage and once you hit that number the shield explodes and does damage around you um a cool thing about this is if say someone else on your team has been stunned which is you know stunned you're not able to do anything silenced or any other disable on them 
you can pop this on them and it gets rid of the stun or whatever disable they have on them. Another ability is Miss Coil is basically a heal and he can heal people, but it also causes damage to himself. There's a lot of cool little tricks you can do. You can kill yourself from denying money to other people. Again, no, you don't have to worry about it right now. I can explain this later. Another ability is called Curse of Vernus. You know, they got weird fancy names for this stuff. All you need to know is whenever he hits somebody, it stacks this debuff on them that makes everybody who attacks him hit him faster while making the person who gets hit, you know, run slower. And the really big dick thing about this guy is called Borrowed Time, which just basically means he gets down to a certain health and once he gets to that point this thing pops on and every little bit of damage that gets done to him instantly heals him so uh basically the whole point is you run around with this thing on you you hit people with this until you you know get your health down low enough to pop this back up hopefully i explain this as you know as best i can this is the first time doing this hopefully i get better with this with time but um yeah that's really you know extremely bare bones how this character works so without further ado let's get into the game you got a little bit of a start up here um the game starts you have about look there in the in the top corner there uh, top around. in the middle of the screen there it shows you know time left so i'm not the greatest you know i don't click around a lot because i don't have the fastest actions for a minute which is like just look at your mouse and just click things as fast as you can. Those are called actions a minute. I mean, you can move your mouse around a bit too, but it really is, you know, clicking the mouse and doing things. The younger you are, the more actions a minute you generally have. That's just a um, nat natural thing with humans. You know, younger you are, you're faster, twitchier than you are when you're older. Um, so where I'm running to now is the top lane th from the side I'm on, because there's two sides. If you look in the bottom left, there's a little map here. You got... One side, you got the other side. It's all diagonal. Here's a lane. This is a lane down here. This Great is a lane down game here. Is about to start. Um, once again, we got a little bit of time before actual game starts. Starts. We're just here. You know, it's kind of like pre-game, basically. What this is, you can buy your items down here. You can get to where you want to be, so you can be ready in time. You can sit and wait for things to spawn, like this little uh, rune here that spawns right at zero. I say, good luck, have fun to people. Because it's just the thing you do. Who's that blowing the horn? So I grab the bounty thing. Like I said, it's grants bonus <laughs> and gold and EXP when you start. Um, so usually you give that to. Uh, it could usually be your carry, which is me in this game, I guess. Mid laner usually gets another because there's another one that's down here too. And uh, that spawns every uh, two minutes or so. So. If you're paying attention, you go to every two minutes, you go back here and here, and you try to grab it to get more money. Um, so in this lane, I'm going to be farming this guy right here, the little purple dude with a staff. He's here to kind of be the support and annoy the guy who's on the other team. I'm going to zoom out. Oh, I can't zoom out because I'm doing player perspective. That's right. So watching this, I'm just sitting here making sure I get the last hit, which is basically sit here and make sure that the last little bit that kills him uh, you get the gold for it. So I got to make sure I time it right and see that little splash of money. That's me actually, you know, getting the last hit. It also works the other way too. All these guys with green health bars. If I hit them before, if I get the last hit on my own guys, it's called denying, which basically means it denies the other team here from getting any EXP. And, you know, you need EXP to level up so you can actually get abilities, you know. So... It's a lot of this to start the game, um, depending on how you play it. You can get super aggressive. I'm not yet. I've just got this shield thing. So now I get the shield on. I'm going to try to go, like, be a dick. And whenever you attack any, like, people on the other team and you click on click on them to attack and you're within, like, their little guys on their team, you draw aggro. So the idea is you put the shield on yourself and you... Uh, Draw the aggro, you get everyone super angry, so they all hit you, so what it does is, you know, wait till you get to that threshold to have your shield explode, and then it goes boom and everyone takes damage. So, you have the shield on you, and you go around, you hit people with this thing, again, remember, like you saw, it, they hit some, they go slower, people hit them faster. So you just run around, hit them with this, make sure you got enough aggro, pops this thing off, they get damage, boom, and you know, hopefully you kill them in time. And uh, if I remember right in this game, 
this uh, witch doctor dude who's on my, who is my support, you know, had a really good game. So again, <laughs> to a, it's like at two minutes, ran back there to get that thing, get some gold. Now running back to the lane. So, Ooh, see, he just move. got stunned, and I put that on him, so they got rid of the stun from him hitting him. So now I've got this thing on him. See how he's running kind of slow? That's the effect of actually being hit by the Curse of Avernus. Radiance bottom tower so now I'm just attack. sitting here, Illusion. waiting for all these creeps to die. They're called creeps. Um, I don't come with a terminology. That's just what they were always called. And again, my, like, thing I do is I'll, like, pace back and forth. And I just timed that wrong. And now I'm going to... You see the little exclamation point? That means that you denied it. And then I wait, hit it, get the money. And what people do too is... You know how I was talking before? When you click on people, it draws the aggro of the other guy's little creeps. If you run up far enough to actually... Uh, <laughs> click on them and you're in range of these guys, it'll pull them to you. So say like... All these lines, are, like the groups up here, but you want to be back here to like be able to get money and EXP. You kind of run up a little bit and you like right click on a guy, and hopefully it pulls the aggro and it comes back down to you. So you can kind of like pull the creeps so you can, you know, farm without having to worry about neither him or I. That sounded weird. Him, or, uh, either of us actually going up and, you know, harassing him. So it's kind of this back and forth game you play, at least in, you know, most lanes here. Um, just making sure you deny them being able to actually get in and farm. See, he came close enough, so now I'm like, alright. I hit him, I'm just gonna, like, be like, back the fuck out. This is my lane. I'm gonna be farming. And then we denied that thing. So now I'm gonna go. Now this will uh, I never talked about any of the items, too. There's so many items in this game. It's really well thought out as far as... Every game is set up mostly. Oop, he missed me with that thing. Uh, again, you're gonna be seeing like, what the fuck was that thing? Like I said, if I try to explain everything, it's gonna be, you know, really hard to see what happens. Or it would. Look, that was the wrong thing to say. I'm just bumbling around here. Um, it would just take so long to explain everything all at once. You and you just probably would be super bored of seeing all, be trying to be explained all this at once. So again, if you guys want. There's plenty of other good guys out there. I can try to, you know, put some stuff together if people would like, you know, to know more about this. Or, um, want me to explain it any better than I can. I can go into more depth about certain things. Like, what's the deal with these little guys? Why, why is denying, why is farming so important? Or, you know, the aggro thing I was talking about before. Um, there's a lot of little things. Like, what's that little icon on my head? Um... The thing to notice, too, is um, this is a replay. This isn't me playing it right now. Is I have it set up so you're going to see, you know, the other team's abilities. Um, you don't always see those either. Like, on the map, you never see these guys. Oh like, boy, if I just do fog for attack. the dire. This is normally, right now, in the game, this is all you see. But uh, since, you know, I'm doing the replay, I'm showing both. So you can kind of see where everyone is. So, again... Not a lot happening in the game. I'm not the best at this game, clearly. So, yep, that guy just denied. And and if you, you know, someone's close enough in lane for that, you'll get a little, your guy will say, you know, either denied or some little smug fact that, you know, he stole it. They might laugh at you. You know, it's a very masochistic game. So, again, it's, I just hang out here. We really hadn't had too much of an issue with, Either of these two guys in the lane, you know, they really have a hard time going against this group. Th this pair of two. Um, you just bully them really easy. Oh, he got hit. So, as soon as that happened, first thing I did was ran over and put that on just to keep him safe. And now, ooh. Uh, he had a couple of people come up. Uh, but he was able to get away. Oh, he's going to get... Oh, he did get him. I couldn't get to him in time. That's right. So now, I'm just sitting here trying to do as much damage as I can, and I'm not very good. I clearly fucked that up. Um, you saw that one little guy with the arrow above his head. You know, he did deny, which is, you know, follows the same mechanics that um, the creeps do if you deny them. They don't get any gold or experience when they uh, get killed. Only certain 
uh, Heroes in the game you can actually do that with. Uh, like, this guy, head. this ability, if you time it right, since, you know, it does damage to yourself, if it... The damage to yourself is more than the health you have left, you do deny yourself. So, if you really, you know, time it perfectly, you can uh, heal somebody, kill yourself, or you can actually do damage to somebody, too. It's uh, a damage or a heal, as you can see, their damage slash attack. heal. Uh, if you time it perfectly, then, you know... You deny them the money, the EXP, and you just go, ha, ha, if you want to. But Karma's a bitch in this game. You don't want to do that. Oh, so the items. Oh, my guy just... There's another hook. Uh, I wish I was good with this Pudge guy. That's his name. But I ain't that good. Again, I'm not going to explain about him. I'm just going to talk about the guy I'm playing now. Um, so, in this game, I have this item here. You know, the, everything has a name, but you really have to know it's just a little... Uh, information Radiant below it there it'll tell attack. most of the time if people aren't you know too confident with their own ability to last hit this item here will uh, do bonus damage to these little dudes and also things in the jungle oh that guy did a pretty good stun again and he's probably gonna die yeah he just did yeah it was one of his spells but different character again there's a lot of synergies you can have between uh, the different characters since there's so many of them um, It take a lot to explain it all so just know I'm down here being a huge dick because I can because I have this this uh, Spell the shield on me along with this attack. thing, so I just run at guys be like hit me come on And then he's just trying to make sure he's in the range of this tower down here Oh, and then I click I meant to click him, but it got in the way and again, see, I had the aggro from the tower here, which are these little things down in the lane. Again, it counts towards the damage. He did a bunch to me, and it popped it and killed him. So, but what I tried to do in that thing is, uh, you saw him stunned. I tried to click this ability on him. It would have got rid of his stun. He would have had a little bit of health, and he would have been able to live. But I clicked wrong, because I'm not very good. Again, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I guess I just ran away because I was scared. But... Uh, you see these little rectangle, these squares in the map. Each lane has two. Uh, so the whole object of the game is to de destroy the big rectangles on either side. And the only way you can do that is you got to destroy towers in each lane. Well, how do you destroy the towers? You know, you got to go up and beat up the towers. Well, how can you do that? Well, if you go up there and uh, just hit it a bunch of times, well, what if the other team won't let you do it? Well, then you got to farm. Well, what if you farm? Well, you got to make sure you farm better than they do. So, you know, there's a million, there's That's one real great. basic premise to the whole game it's just a matter of the pass you get to that is uh you know, different every game there's just so many different strats and combinations oh by the way too since you know trying to hit that thing that little like glowy disco light that was over it uh he didn't towers are also a deniable thing too so that shiny little disco light thing on there was this thing you can fortify those uh tower things here to keep it up oh, yeah. That was a pretty good combo they had there. Um, you can fortify the towers to stop them from being taking any damage at all for five seconds. Um, it's on a five-minute uh, cooldown, but every time these first towers in each lane actually get taken down, automatically refreshes. It doesn't do that with any other ones afterwards. So um, that one just went down. You saw them pop it, and it went down again, so it instantly refreshed this. So now they can... Do it again if uh, someone else is pushing another lane. But since the tower was done, I'm going into this whole non-lane section, which is full of jungle creeps, which is basically the the same as these. You know, they're just you know, some people have a harder time killing them than others. Since I got a few levels, I got this thing up here. I'm just able to actually survive this. And since I'm level seven, um, oh, another thing too is these things aren't usually available until level 6. There's a few exceptions, again, um, but generally for all but, I think, two heroes in the game, uh, the, it's a, you have to get it at level 6. You, or the first time you're available to get it is at level 6. So, um, you really have, you don't have to, like, get these in any specific order. You can build certain ways more than others. It really depends on what your role is. Uh, but, the way I did it, since you know, I was playing the carry, it's really actually not much different Dyer's from uh, the support one. You may just get like 
one little pip of these and then you probably start doing some heal but this is like the first thing you always max out which is four little pips and each pip is a level fresh mate so now i'm just still farming in the jungle since i uh, we don't really feel like you know showing up in a lane i left to go let uh someone else farm the lane while i go into the jungle so i can not steal EXP from other lanes, so that's another thing too, is oh, man, the more people, you, that was like an idea, has like, like, well, why don't all five people just, you know, group up and just stay in one lane, just push all the way down and just, you know, win that way. Well, the more people that are in a lane, well, oh, watch this first. Towers under attack. So, again, I've got this on me, oh, my ult just popped, so now... Uh, this whole time, uh, anything that was attacking me, I was taking damage. But not many things did, and now I'm gonna die here. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think I'm dead here. Since, you know, I haven't even come out of the cast anything. Oh, no, that was, uh... That was fast enough to get away. It's been a while since I, this game played, so I really don't know what happened. I just know I, I chickened down. It's just like, I'm just gonna be back here, because I don't have much health, and I'm not of much use to anybody down here. But they were certainly going for it. So, oh, that fight happened, I kind of did something, I just went in, threw this shield on a guy, and then my ult popped, but that was really it. So, come down here. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but this actually Radiant does work on towers, uh, towers here, so you can see this little buff here. Everyone, everything that's attacking that target gets, you know, the move speed buff and attack oh, speed. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack! So, bought some teleport scrolls. The only way you can really jump around maps is with these things, and there's only specific hey. places on the map you can jump Radiant's to. Bottom tower so usually, is under these towers, these little green oh. things, there's one on the other side over there, too. And also up here, oh, I remember I did this bad. The guy I was playing against was real smart. Oh, Radiant's bottom so, tower he saw I was kind of like low on health. So, I was like, oh, I'm just going to go bully him a bit. And just, you know... Wubba and then, oh, he popped it. He's like, oh crap. I'm low on health. Low on mana, can't do much. And now he just instantly popped the ability. And I'm like, no way, come back here. I want to beat you up. And then I was like, I hit that. And then he oh, made sure I got far enough away uh, from any of the creeps that he uh, used his ultimate uh, on. And his ultimate is basically, I'll do it real quick just so you can understand, is it, uh, you hit anything that's in like a little small area three times and you know if it's by a person's by itself he takes all three of those slashes but you know if you're grouped up with it like a bunch of other people and since this is the level one well at the, at the time it was level one only jumped three times so if you're like grouped up together Whoa, it's a really bad ult to, like to begin with if you're in a whole group of people because you just spread the damage out to everybody in the area but um, since I was the only one there, he made sure I ate all of it, and since I was at low health to begin with, he just made it super easy for him to kill me. Just real bad at what I did. And then, which doctor was angry, as you can clearly tell, but he had a, a decent game. It was kind of like a really good game for him, just because some of his, his, his spells that he has work real good on that, on this character here. Especially if they're bunched up all together. Um, so, he had a really good game, I remember. I keep saying that a million times, but... Oh, he got stunned. Oh, I ran in range of that guy's stun, so... Way to go! Radiant's bottom tower's completely gone! What did I do with this fight? Uh, I'm just like, hey, go after these guys. Put my little shield on. Radiant's since they're tracked from somebody attack. else's ability, I was going to hit him, but... Hello? Some other spell killed him in time, so I'm just like, oh, here. I feel Double kind of useless, so now I'm just going to chase this guy. Try to be the one who gets aggro underneath the tower like I did. See, that counts towards popping this thing, so I'm like, where the hell did he go? Can't find him. Oh, oh there he is. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. So, oop, I'm on him now, so now he's being slowed. And I just put Dying it on again. Tower's nope. under attack. And I just run at him super fast, and then I make sure I get the last hit because oh, he tried to do that and I think I told you about before. Like, uh, he didn't uh, have, he had way too much health for that to actually happen. So really the whole point of this guy is just to be a huge bully. Uh, you buy things that make you move faster like this thing does. Combined with this thing, they do stack. So 
You just, you know, hit somebody once with that thing. Make sure you're in a whole group of things. Um, and if he tries running away and he's a little faster than you, hit him again. You know, if press act like activate this thing like I just did here, so now I've got a little speed boost. And you just keep hitting him. Um, to my house. Later on in the game, you're gonna get more items to help you, you know, do that better. Or you know, if you're a support, um, and it's like at the end of the fight like that, everyone was just running away. Uh, you tag him with this to uh, activate the slow, and then have the rest of your team, you know, run up and catch Double up to you damage. so they can finish him off. But in this game, I was playing. I was trying to play some, uh, carry. I didn't know if I did a really good job of it. You know, I'm not the. I didn't farm fast. I didn't do the jungles smart. There's a lot of things I didn't do in this game. But general gist is farm up. I got this thing that gives an aura, which is, you know, buffs everyone around me. As you can see that green ring around me, that's how big the area of effect I is of the that. aura, as you can see all the abilities down there. Everyone around me on my team gets that health regen, the mana regen, the bonus oh, armor, uh, the attack damage and life steal. But I'm not in the group there. So nobody's getting it now because I'm too busy to farm. And that probably would have been a good idea to, you know, join my the whole everybody in my group didn't have any mana so i was like oh, i'm gonna go steal oh, it and then i realized that the fight was over it's a mega kill now i'm like well i was here a little too late probably could have helped out but nope oh, radiant busy top farming. Power is under attack. you gotta be super aware of this mini map down here and Bountiful. show where everyone oh, is and just you know if you see everyone fighting and you're like i could probably help out you should probably do that um but if you're like farming in there, it's like, well, everyone just got wiped. It's real dumb to actually go there. I was just like, I'll hang back. It's a judgment call. And again, it's going to be a thing you're going to learn from playing a bunch of these games. It's all about learning Radiant's and all that fun shit. And the only problem is, the only way to learn is by playing, and nobody wants to deal with anybody who's new in the game. They get, you know, super angry and will just yell at you. Again, the best thing you can do is never play this game just because it's going to make you super stressed out and as you see i'm trying to like getting everyone's health down to the same level so when this pops they all die it's just you know more efficient to farm uh i probably use a little too much because you see his this mana down here isn't you know he doesn't Ooh, have that much and since this costs 115 time 15 mana each time i cast it and it's cool down right now it's at six seconds it's that uh Thing in the bottom there you see 12 10 8 6 um, and I only regen 2.7 per second I'm not gonna do the math it just takes a long time so you should probably be a little bit more uh, careful when spending your mana doing this don't spam it so much especially in the role that I'm playing as where I don't buy things that can you know get people more mana um, so I just kind of went there's a boot these boots, you know, there's a bunch of different types of boots and This one is uh, makes me run faster and if I press the button I get a you know a faster move like move speed Other ones where yeah, he just did that little flashy blue thing under his feet these things uh, Will give you know mine at everybody in a group around me um, But since I wasn't going support I didn't bother with those my whole job was to you know Move fast, hit them a bunch with this thing, you know, just be in their face. And that's why I bought this thing first instead of the, again, the, these are, you know, weird items. There's so many items I could try to explain, you know, like, this thing's in the way here. I don't know how to get out of the way, but these are all base items, basically. You click on a base item. Look at this one base oh, item can make all of these things. Well, what the fuck are all these things? What if I click this? Oh, this, you know, has a combination of a couple of things to make this thing. And then that thing can make another thing. And then it can make another thing. You know, there's just so much in this game to try to explain. Um, so, big fight, you know, cool shit happening here. I'm just being a dick. Like, oops, see a guy mark me. I just run at people. Oh, no, that guy just died. So now I'm just going to sit here and just make sure I stay on this guy. So, slow him down, everyone attacks him faster. But it's like, oh, he pulled him away. I'm not done, because I have this thing I just put on myself. I also have this still up, so I'm just going to hit him again. Everyone keeps following me, because I'm the one who's taking all the hits from the towers until I went past its aggro range. So again, that's the whole point of this 
uh, character when you're you know playing the carry. You can also do that with support, but support they kind of play a little safer because you don't have all the farm to have the fancy items. And then I see my friend here. He's trying to get hit by this guy. I put that on him, and then I healed him, kept him alive. And now I'm gonna hit him once, and then everyone's just gonna be able to, you know, uh, keep up with him. So even if you're not, you know, playing support, you still do the support things where, you know, oh, that guy got stunned. I'll put this on him to keep him from getting stunned, and then I'll, you know, throw a heal on him to keep him alive. Uh, just. Be, you know, trying, like, the number one thing you can do in the game is just be aware, Haste. looking, okay, what am I going to go do now? Can I see anybody else in the map? There's this whole other thing with wards. Since, you know, all this stuff here is fog of war, basically, you know, you can't see it. So some people will put these little wards down on the ground. I'll go to free camera. I'll put these little, like, they put wards down in areas that you have this big open area so you can actually see things. Um... Certain places on the map you'll be able to see better than others. It's again, that's another video for another time. Um, but the whole it, the vision, you know, like knowing where everybody else is in the team uh, on the other team, you know, makes it makes your job easier. So that's what the wards are for. Usually the supports get it. I wasn't playing support this time, so I'm just you know running around, being in fights, farming up items so I can you know be better at fights, and it's just you know snowballing. Um, uh, so I, the, I bought, I got this thing that gives the aura bonus for everybody. Also, every time I heal anybody, I get a, I get, you know, life back on a hit. Um, so, oop, next item, a little chug there in the eyes, uh, the frames, I guess. Next item I got was oh, man, this, this thing where, um, this me run faster again. That's, you know, something I want to do. And also I have a chance to, um... Uh, maim them as you see their main chance is 40% and what it does it slows them down So again, that's damage. you know, I move faster. I have a chance of slowing them on hit which combines with this so they're even slower It's making sure you find the items that complement what you're trying to do and in this case It was I want to be able to regen this thing since my base mana regen isn't great And also get some life steal when I hit things so this complements that perfectly like, farming might have been an issue for me. I might not be able to get the last hit on things, so I would buy this thing. It helps me do that better than I would Radiant normally be able to. Under so, next thing I did was, um, we'll what the hell did I buy? Oh, I bought, uh, an item that gives me an insane oh, amount of strength, which are one of these three base. This is a whole other section, too. Uh, base strength, and, you know, since Could my primary attribute you see here is the top one, which is strength, the more I get of that, the more damage I do, the more health I get, the more HP region I get. You know, every hero has different um, main attributes, but basically it is, you know, I'm a strength guy. I want to buy items to give me more strength, so I'm just going to run around, keep the shield on me, and just make sure I hit things nonstop. And again, this guy was having such a great game. <laughs> destroyed everybody this game. Hey, Jesus, this is some wicked sick stuff, bro. Uh, uh, that's a whole other hero for another time I could tell you about. Five, if baby, I get this five. wrong, I'm just saying There's it's no a hero champion. Oh, this is an attack. Attack. I'm pretty sure it's hero. But anyway. Uh, killed their entire team. So now we're going to run up uncontested and kill these towers in the base here. These are the last towers in each row. And then they have these little things here. We destroy these things. Way to go. Our Radiant little dudes in each lane gone. will get stronger. On, like Radiant one's a uh, for attack. melee, which is the you know I the guys with the swords, Radiant and then there's the uh, range one, which Radiant is the one guy running around like a little staff. Barnabas. He's that guy there. Uh, when you kill, you know, we killed it in this lane. So that means whenever our dudes spawn, they're going to be stronger. Next lane, we clear this one out. All of our dudes come in here will be stronger. Once we've cleared out every single lane of these little three, these little tiny huts that we just did we get super giant you know creeps to help you know end the game faster our creeps will be stronger than theirs Bounty. um they'll kill them faster everything will be pushed down it kind of like helps accelerate the end of a game uh they can also do the same thing to us it was just we had this was you know kind of a one-sided affair as you can see our advantage net worth is you know we had way more money hey, we have twenty-three thousand more I monies than they do this is all Killed deaths on one side. Shiny. This guy was, you know, 10 and 2 and assists. Uh, we can look at uh, last hits. This really isn't ordered in any way. Uh, 
I wasn't doing that great middle of the pack for trying to be a carry, although this guy was doing pretty good. He was mid. That's a different lane, different time. Um, let's uh, gold per minute. Eh, it was second. Not bad. But, you know, that's just running around, putting the shield on me, hitting these guys. You also get gold from killing people, so uh, Boy, there's light. different heroes that, you know, excel, do better, you know, killing people rather than farming. Which was, you know, what the supports do. Or, uh, what the carries do, excuse me. Um, again, that guy was low on health. I chucked him one of these things. We're in a group now. We feel way stronger. We had a huge advantage, so we're just like, oh, we're just gonna go down the next lane. Kill these towers, because we want to win one and the game. And I've Dyer's got, you know, I don't, I haven't finished this yet. I'm waiting for the Looks last like little bit to combine these fortified. two to make the thing I'm looking for. I got a lot of health. I'm here to be in the front. Ah! Uh, you know, towers under attack. take hits from, you know, the towers, take hits from the enemies. I just want to be in the front so they got to deal with me before they can get to the people in the back. Because, you know, I'm falling. in the front doing all this. He's the one who's doing all that huge damage. But, you know, I'm in their way disrupt disrupting him from getting to our guys. So, I make sure for attack. the guy I'm on now, I'm, you know, oh, going to be in the front. I want to draw, you know, everyone's attention. But, see, he's trying to go for him. Uh, so now they pulled him in. I'm just gonna run up. Now I'm just gonna go be in their face and just make sure I hit everybody. Make sure this thing pops. Uh, see, he's in the back. They're not. They can't get to him because you know, we're right in the front. You can't get to him. You know, we're in the way, so you know he's able to get all his spells off and kill everybody on their team. With me in the way, it's the way I'm playing, I gotta be. You know what I'm doing now. Now I'm, I'm kind of by myself. Everyone kind of bailed, so I'm just like, oh, I'm dead. But my health is almost gone. No one was actually doing it each seat. Um, that little bit, it was still Wait, taking, no, it was doing on. damage because my health was going up. But, you know, it ended, and when it ended, I was taking all the damage back. So they did the smart thing of, oh, my ultimate popped. The only way, they can't kill me then. Um, so they just run away, wait for the duration to end, which is six seconds. They just wait six seconds, wait for that to go away, and then they can hit me again. It's kind of the drawback with this, um, if you're, like, fighting one-on-one. -on -one, Against anybody, they're like, oh, I popped this thing. Well, I'm just going to walk away for a little bit, and then I'm going to start attacking you again, and then you're fucked. Um, in early games, though, when you are got this thing, you can dive under their towers, which is what I did a little earlier up here. You draw the aggro from these little dudes, and the tower's hitting you. This thing pops. You know, you can kill anybody. Then you can just run out, put it back on you again, because it's a relatively low cooldown. It starts at 12, goes 10, then 8, then 6. Um, so, I got 10 more seconds. I finally finished this thing. And this Ooh. thing is a uh, gives me a bunch of health, gives me a bunch of strength. And strength also will give me... Uh, oh, God, I forget what the math is here. But on top of the health, strength also gives me health too. So, I'm getting a combination of strength and health. And the special thing with this item is um, I get a percentage of my health, max health restored... If damage taken from an enemy hero or Roshan, which is a thing we didn't do in this game. Um, uh, but if I take damage from any of them, uh, this the mass regen on this is, you know, disabled for five seconds. Since I'm a, a melee. But if it was ranged, it'd be seven. But since these guys don't count as, you know, Roshan or uh, an enemy hero... It doesn't, you know, see how huge that regen is? See, now I'm getting hit by a tower. It's not tri triggering it. So it doesn't matter. I can just sit right under this tower. I'll can take all the hits. Doesn't matter. I'll regen through it. But the second any of the people on their team hit me, this huge regen a second goes away. So I'm just going to have all of them hit me. And then, you know, it kills these things faster so we can push the wave, which is, you know, all of our creeps. We have this huge wave of little dudes. They can take all the aggro from that. And we can just try to end this faster. Nope. They pull them again. So now I'm just like, I'm going to sit here. I think I got fucked here. I don't remember. I think I did. 
Yeah, they did the smart thing again. See my ult pop. They bought an item that stops me from. Holy um, shit! God, stops me from being able to hit anybody. But, you know, no one's done any damage to me. This thing is triggering back up. And just like that, now I'm regen again. Because no one hit me. Oh, I just got hit. See, it's off now. And it's on its cooldown. And watch, Hell Scrolls right back up. So since, you know, my ult pops, they, you know, didn't bother trying to kill me. I just ran away, waited for that cooldown to come up, and all my health came back. So at this point, we, you know, we just dominated the game. And now we're just, you know, slowly finishing the game. And, you know, that's really all there is. I got a killing spree because I'm so cool. And then I bought a basher. And all that does is it gives me a random chance to stun somebody. It's 25%. That doesn't matter. Yeah, it fuels me. It, it, that was the thing that twirled me near a little tornado. Um, so, yeah. Again, um, I kind of bumbled through this. You know, I did the best I could. Well, this is going to get better the more I do it. Um, if you have any suggestions or any comments... If you like this stuff, let me know. Uh, this game is a lot of fun, and you know this gives me even more reason to keep playing the game. Uh, but again, mostly it's going to be with me uh, playing this on uh, the, uh, the our Twitch channel. Uh, that's it, you know, twitch.tv slash and, uh, again, uh, comment, thank, uh, subscribe. I'm just doing such a bad job with this right now. Uh, thank you again, folks, and um, I hope to do more of these in the future. This is a terrible ending again. Uh, thank you all, and uh, I'll see you next time.